Hi, I'm Almost a Gamer. I knew when I married my husband that he was a hardcore gamer, and I knew that I was marrying into a hardcore gaming family because of the game Pinochle. Everybody plays this game in his family. When I started dating my husband, it was one of the first things that he and his mom and dad taught me. If you've never played Pinochle, it's a pretty old school game. Here's a crash course into the game. Four-handed Pinochle is a team-based trick-taking game played with a 48-card deck. The lowest number in the deck is a 9, and there are two of each card in the deck. After everyone has counted their meld in secret, which is a certain combination of cards, the person to the left of the dealer will start bidding. You may pass or bid as high as you like, but there's a minimum bid of 21. If the dealer gets stuck with it, meaning no one else bid, then they may have it for 20 points instead. Whoever wins the bid gets to determine which suit will be trumped. After everyone reveals their meld by putting it down the table, you calculate it and add it for each of the teams, and then those cards will be put back into your hand. Then whoever won the bid starts the actual trick taking part of the hand. You will lay down a card. Everyone else is required to play the same suit. They must beat it if they are able to. If they do not have the same suit, then they must play trump, and they must beat it if possible. And if someone else uh, plays a trump and you have to play trump, but you can't beat that trump, you still must play trump. If you don't have the original suit and you don't have trump, then you may play any card from your hand that you like. At the end, after everyone's done this 12 times, then you count up all the points that everyone has taken. The points are aces, tens, and kings. You add that to the meld that you received at the beginning of the hand, and if you were the team that made a bid, then you have to determine whether that added score is equals your bid or is higher than your bid. If it does not, then you subtract your bid in its entirety from your total score. After this, you start a new hand, and this keeps going until someone reaches 120 points. Pinnacle was a totally new level of gaming for me. I didn't know what tricks were. I was new to meld, and I had never played a game that involved counting cards. And by the way, I still don't do that. I, yeah, N no. They were really patient, because I, was really bad at making bids. I didn't know what I was doing. And I broke the rules like all the time. At the time, I kind of thought of it as a romantic gesture. Like they liked me so much. They wanted to share their family tradition with me. And they were excited for me to become part of their family. Well, that may have been some of it, but I think ultimately they just wanted pinochle people. So of course, when they're son brought this girl home that's a fourth player for four-handed pinochle she's got to learn this game pronto you need people that know the rules and the strategy and the table talk pinochle people they're hard to come by so when you find some or have an opportunity to invest in someone to teach them to play with you you're gonna take that opportunity recently i found out my mother's mother used to play pinochle with their friends and there was some bully that used to give her a hard time when she would like play a trick wrong. He would get on her case and she gave it up. She never taught her daughter how to play or her grandchildren because he ruined the game for her. So let that be a lesson to anyone out there who wants to give someone a hard time when playing Pinochle. Don't be a bully because you're going to ruin it for future generations. It's just so much fun. The more you play it, the better it gets, especially when you're playing with a core group of people and you can just go back to them again and again and like pick up where you left off and it just has this really great competitive feeling and uh, it, it doesn't get old. I'm so excited to teach my boys how to play Pinochle and God willing, if they bring some nice girls home, we're going to be teaching them Pinochle too. So I'm curious for all those almost gamers out there or fanatical gamers. Does anyone play Pinochle on anymore? Or is there another old school game that is part of the family that everyone kind of plays? I'd love to hear your comments and thanks again for watching.